Hey there, YouTube. It's your favorite sniper back again with another video. So this one, if you can't tell already, is from Steve looking for silver or Steve LFS. He just reached 500 subscribers. He should have more than that because he has awesome stuff. If you haven't checked him out already, definitely check him out. I will leave his link below. And to save you from an 8,000 minute video, like most of you are accustomed to, I'm trying to shorten them. So I took his box, I opened it up, and pre-sliced a lot of the tape. This way, you wouldn't see me struggling so much because of my arm. So let's get it started, shall we? Let's see what we got. Let's see how well this works. So this one I'll save for last. I think I know what this one is. So. We'll start from the right. Move this over here. We'll start at the top. So I got this in around my surgery time. Decided to wait to open it. I think I'm starting with with gold. So it's almost St. Patrick's Day. So I picked up this gold Geiger, one gram, with the four leaf clover on it. Pretty sweet. The way I figured, every little bit of gold counts. We keep stacking as, you know, not all of us are millionaires. So you stack within your means. And if you could get a gram of gold for a decent price, I would say take it. So he had these up. I think it was the beginning of the night, too, this one night. And I'm like, you know what? I want that four-leaf clover. So I got the one gram. It's in the assay. Very nice. That's a good start, right? Starting off with gold. Oh, let's see what else we got here. I think there's multiples in here. What is this? Ah, this is the Mercury look. This is the Mercury replica. And obviously, <laughs> there's no mercury this big, unless they're replicas. And a regular mercury, really, you would flip like that, but you turn it this way for this one. And I love the mercury design, mercury dime design, so I snagged this. Got to find a capsule for this. So put that on his bag. I love those. He's got his own bags. He's got pens he sent me. Oh, there's another one. Getting ahead of myself, right? So, didn't see that. Hmm. Edmund Hay. Oh, this is the Haley's Comet one. Pretty cool. It's an older coin, so. Older round, I should say. I don't want to get in trouble calling it a coin when it's not. It's a round. Haley's Comet, fall of 1985. That was three years old. Pretty cool. So, 1656. To 1742. One ounce, 999 plus some. Got that. And I got another Inglehard. So the Inglehard I got was a 1984. I mean, you could never really go wrong with a prospector. So it was either that or at 85, and I have a ton of 85s. 
not a ton, but you can never have enough. Still searching for that 83. I'm sure I'll come across one eventually. My local coin shop has them every once in a while. I just haven't been able to get there. I wanted to go today, but it just didn't happen because I couldn't sleep well last night. That's what happens when you have shoulder surgery and the arm keeps you up all night. So this one's an 84, so I'll go on my 84 sack. Put that right there. Look at me being a little organized. We got here. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so you know I love my ship round slash coins. So we put this one up. Just snagged this one. Arr, mateys. Let's go find me treasure. Oh, you know what? It's, it's kind of ironic. I love ships. And I love ship coins, ship designs. But being on a ship is totally different. I always wind up needing like a ton of drama meme because I just get sick on ships. But that's a story for another day. Hey, look. I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> Figured I'd just sit there and say, I'm a moron sometimes. And sometimes I'm more off than on. So that's a trade unit with a ship. 999 fine silver. Very beautiful. Can't go wrong with a trade unit. Trade unit. Stack them up. So this will go in my ship collection. Just ship my pants opening that. Is that it? Nothing there? Always make sure there's nothing else in there. Even though I pre-sliced them, I just got to make sure, you know. Always make sure the package is empty. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is one. Um, so I've been, I think, I think I've either won or been it. Yeah, I've been. So this is a bin for 33, but I also gave one for a giveaway. And I didn't have, I had the ox, but I didn't, I'm not sure if I had the ox with the dragon print. And you know, I love my dragons. So this is the 2021 year of the ox or the ox coin. It is a coin, right? One dollar, yeah. So from Australia, one ounce. I really like like the proofiness of the ox, but that dragon privy, oh, awesome. So I got one of these, may get more. If you get more, I'm not sure, but I'm glad to have one at least. And like I said, the other one went to a give. Ooh, no, I did bin two. I like to get multiples. So I, I binned two. And then I gave one for a giveaway. So I got two of them. Yay. And I am stubborn as an ox. So it kind of fits, right? So I'll put that right there. Let's see what else we got. Mm, got one right here. Ugh, my headphones keep falling off because they're annoying. Oh, it's just one ounce silver bar added to my collection of bars. I was actually upstairs going through some of the bars. I didn't. I, I totally forgot I had more bars upstairs. I'm about to bring them down. It's just a generic one ounce silver bar. With the walk, I got it because I love walking liberties. They're my favorite constitutional stack. I don't want to stop moving around so much. But walkers are my favorite constitutional stack. I mean, I love all constitutional, but the walkers are my favorite. It's your standard bar. So add that to the stack. And finally, last but not least, we got this one right here. So. I went ahead and sliced it, and I'm going to open it up. 
I actually got this in after hours. Let me put them up. So, lo and behold, I bend this. Take that on. Animals of Africa, the African lion. Lion-shaped coin, one troy ounce from the PAMP. Can't get wrong with the PAMP. They always have great packaging. Always. A lot of stuff from them. So let's see what we got. So put it up close, you get a good view. One ounce, 999. And I believe these have the serial numbers right on them. So I got number 83. And I believe there was 2,000 of these made. Let me just see here. Certificate of all, up oh, 2,500 made. So I got 83 out of 2,500, not too shabby. From the Solomon Islands. Swit Pamp, Switzerland. So, let me just take it out and show you. So you got that. The reverse. Rawr. Pretty sweet, right? I love this, this is cool. Oh. That's a cool piece. Glad I added this to my collection. So, that just about does it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, could you uh, hit the likey likey for me? Thumbs up, don't mind my red thumb. You know what I was eating? Some Munster cheese. I'm not one of the Munsters, but I was having Munster cheese. So, anyway, that's a weird way to end a video. But I feel like I was a little more organized than this one. So let me scroll down, let you see what I got. <clears throat> Move this up here. And get everything in one shot, try to anyway. With that gold is pretty awesome. I love adding when I could add gold to my collection. So let me guys know what you think. And I will see you on the next one. And remember, like I always say, keep on stacking. This is the coin sniper, and I'll see you on the next one.